All right, how's it going guys? Coach Brayden here with Look Like You Lift. And one of the big problems that I run into with guys who are working at their desk all day long, who sit all day long, so it's pretty much like 99% of you, you're having a hard time getting into the rack position for the low bar squat. So I'm gonna show you a mobility exercise that you can do to help with that. As you guys know, I'm not that big fan of just using mobility exercises for the sake of doing mobility. If you don't need additional mobility, there's no point in the exercise, but if you are having a hard time getting into the rack position, this is where it's gonna be beneficial. So when we're talking about the rack position for the low bar squat, what we're looking to do is get the barbell right underneath the bony spine of the scapula, trapped in that meaty shelf of the trap and the shoulder and the back muscles. So with a neutral palm and with the hands as close together as shoulder mobility will allow, we wanna to try to get into a position that looks like this, where it's tight and uncomfortable. And if it's tight and uncomfortable, that means that it's set in the right spot. Now, this is really hard for a lot of people. And what we find is sometimes that position is very, very uncomfortable. It's painful even, it shouldn't be painful. And a lot of times in order to kind of get into that position, your hand has to be all the way out here, or there's no possible way for you to get into that position without completely having to go into, you know, hyperextension with your wrists. So we're gonna try to open up this area. So the result of not being able to get into a good rack position is due to tightness through the chest and the shoulders. And so we're gonna work on that. I did not develop this. This is actually from Paul Horn at Starting Strength. We call this the horn stretch, but it works nine times out of 10. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're going to get into a position where the grip is as wide as possible. And I'm gonna get set up with neutral wrists, get set up in the position that I want. And then from here, I'm gonna drop my chest down and I'm gonna feel a huge stretch all the way through my chest and my shoulders. And I'm just gonna hold it there for about 30 seconds. And it's important too that you're keeping your elbows up and everything is very similar to if the bar was settled into your back. Okay, I'm gonna come up, come out, let the blood flow come back in to my arms, readjust my grip a little bit, do that again, get set up right in the spot that I want it to be, then drop my chest down, let that open up. 30 seconds, come out, bring the grip in a little bit more. Same thing, get set up, drop my chest down, hold that for 30 seconds, pull it in, come in, get set up, drop your chest down for 30 seconds. And then before you know it, your hands are gonna be really close together and you're in a really good tight position for your squat. So I recommend doing this every time that you squat, using this as part of your warm-up progression. So as you're adding weight, getting ready for your working weight, I like just working this in. Before you know it, give it a couple of weeks, everything will open up and you'll, it'll be, feel very natural for you to get into your rack position. It's still gonna be tight, still gonna be uncomfortable, but that's exactly what we want. But this is going to at least help you get into the position that we're looking for for the low bar squat. So like, subscribe, share with somebody who's got a, uh, who's got a tight anterior musculature, and we'll see you in the next one.